Hey guys, I have a fun little project for us today. Um, I seem to, um, I'm pretty sure I invented how to make um, patterned rice paper sails, rice paper bowls, rice paper, whatever you want to do with your rice paper, you can put a pattern on it now. So I am so excited to show this to you. So all you need is um, a rice paper, um, spring roll wrappers. Uh, you can get these hopefully soon at Icing Images. Um, otherwise, your grocery store might carry them um, or an Asia market. Um, and this product here is essential. These are cello sheets, brand new from Icing Images. Um, as you can only get them from Icing Images. They are in their beta testing um, program right now. I happened to stumble upon them when I was ordering my premium icing sheets and uh, said, wow, I've got to try this, cannot wait to play with it. And um, what I'm gonna show you today, I am very, very proud of. I'm so excited to show you. So let's get started. So I'm gonna take my, um, I've got my rice paper round and I printed, because it's almost Easter, I printed off this really vibrant um, Easter basket design off of Icing Images I Designs program. They have hundreds of patterns on there. Um, so many things you could do with them. Very excited about this and they make it so easy to use your edible printer. Um, and that is really what these cello sheets um, are good for, putting them through your edible printer. So this printed off in a square. I've got a round, so I'm just gonna round off these corners a little bit. Um, and I don't want any plain on there. So I'm gonna make it approximately the same size as my rice paper sheet. So let's see, so yeah, that's not too bad. I have a little sharp part here. I just wanna get rid of it. So I start with that, and then I have to take this cello sheet off of its backing there is a clear backing. So um, to do that, I just want to make a little um, incision with an X-Acto knife just at the edge um, and gently start to peel that off. Sometimes it takes a little bit of finagling to really get it off of there. Once you get it started, it will Peel right off. This is a really large piece to be working with, but that's okay. All right, so now I have my printed sheet removed from its backing. I'm just going to set this off to the side for a moment. Make sure that you keep the printed side facing up. So then you'll need a bowl of hot water. And all you're going to do is dip your rice paper into the water quickly, bring it back out, lay it down on a soft silicone mat, make sure your hands are dry, and you're going to pick up your cello sheet, place it over top, and then gently, I just have a silicone brush. Woo, careful there. And I'm just gonna lay it down gently, try and work air bubbles out as I go. There we go. Now, once you have those attached, you cannot unattach them. So hopefully it's the way that I want it, right? Okay, so now the fun part, I'm just gonna make a bowl out of this. So, well, a basket. I wanna make a little Easter basket. So I am going to take my mold. Here, I'm just gonna use a container of salt because I want kind of a big um, area at the bottom of the, of the basket. Now place my silicone sheet over top. And now I can take little clips and um, bend this basket and shape it the way that I want it to dry. Okay. So just fold that there. Like that, and I think I might 
do one more different one. Give it a little bit more movement over on this side. There you go. I think that's gonna make a beautiful basket. Now I have to be patient. I need to leave this to dry um, overnight. So I'm not gonna touch it, I'm not gonna move it. I mean, I can take the board, but I'm not gonna move anything else. And we will come back and see how it turns out. Okay, so here we are um, uh, about mm, 12, 14 hours later. And I'm gonna take the clips off. Easter basket. Look at how cute. I love it.